Good morning, class 10. How are you all? This is Ms. Seishu. So today, we are having a topic, Variation and Natural Selection. The references are course book page 250 and 251. So, the key words for today's topic are Adaptive feature, fitness, xerophytes, and hydrophytes. There is a note for you. Please write the important points in the notebook that you find on the screen. Let's start the topic. Okay. So, today's our new topic is about adaptive features. Adaptive features means what? Every organism has features that help it to survive in its environment. That means an animal is to survive in its environment. For example, these birds will be migrating to one place to another place according to the environment in their seasons. And also, the other thing, adaptation for the animals is also camouflage. Camouflage, sorry, camouflage. So here you can see migration and camouflage. That means nothing but the organism has a features that help it to survive in its surrounding. I mean environment. So let us see the keyword adaptive feature so that means for example an organism is surviving according to its environment let us see the definition for it the adaptive features definition is an inherited feature that helps an organism to survive and reproduce in its environment here you can see an example of animals like camel and yak these are the animals have adaptive features according to their environment the camel is the animal which is surviving in the hot countries like in the deserts this all we have learned in the grade 4 itself we know very well the features of the, the adaptive features of the camel. Same as like this animal also, the yak also grows its hair longer according to its environment. Okay. So here you can see pygmy seashore. This is the fish is a, a underlying living under the sea okay so this is an animal that is well adapted to its environment is much more likely to survive than one that is not a pygmy seashore that was bright blue instead of yellow would not be camouflaged and would probably be killed and eaten by predator long before it's reached adulthood here you can see the pygmy seashore the scientific name of it is hippocampus barkibanti this is the animal is adapted to be perfectly camouflaged among the seaweed in which it lives that means it is surviving itself by developing its physical features as it living it in the environment you can see the other example also this is a tiny seahorse you can see here we we itself we cannot identify properly by one look we cannot identify here we have a seahorse here you can see its eye this is the animal and this is the seaweed so according to its environment to survive from its predators not to eaten by the predators it will be developing its features like this 
the other example is sea dragon here you can see this is like a looking like a, a tree leaves leaves on the tree same like leaves on the trees so same like that to making a development of its features according to its environment you can see here the same color leaves you can see on the animal called sea dragon this is the sea dragon it is adapted to its perfectly camouflaged among the seaweed in its environment so however only well adapted individuals have a good chance of living long enough to reproduce that means these type of animals are well in fitness that means fitness means is nothing but to doing uh, exercise daily not that thing fitness here the biologists are used the word fitness to describe how well adapted an organism is the greater the organism's fitness the greater its chance of surviving to adulthood and reproducing that means here the fitness the word keyword fitness is defined as the probability of an organism surviving and reproducing in the environment in which it is found okay so these are the adaptive features for the animals how they are getting survived in their environment and is reproducing further so that is for today and the other two keywords are here xerophytes and hydrophytes xerophytes is nothing but the plants which are living in the deserts which there is a lack of water zero means dry phytes means plants okay dry plants is called as zero phytes and the hydrophytes hydrophytes means hydro means water phytes means plants hydrophytes means the plants which are living in the water areas so this too we will be looking in the next class detail okay that's all for today and where are necessary you please take down the notes